So in this video, we're going to continue learn the recurrent state versus uh, transient state. Let's review a bit. Uh, recurrent means for state i, uh, we'll always come back. So always re-enter. It means uh, with probability 1, we'll re-enter the state after leaving the state. Transient means uh, we have a positive probability, so some chance. It means uh, a positive probability that uh, this markup chain will never uh, re-enter. We also learned that the uh, expected, the expected value of time period a markup chain spent at a recurrent state is equal to infinity, all right? And the expected value of the time periods and a markup chain spends at a transient state is a finite number. Given that, given the the markup chain uh, starts at this state, all right. This this is our, our uh, state of interest. Now we have uh, the following claim. Keep in mind, this is a uh, expected value. You guys want to want to ask, what if for a transient state we may have, say, an instance of a markup chain that spends infinitely amount of time periods at a transient state? Is it possible? The answer is, uh, it's not possible. All right. So the claim is. Uh, For a transient state i, okay, if we start, if this MC starts at i, then after a finite amount of time period this state will never be visited with probability 1. And keep this in mind. Let me add a remark here. In this claim, so we are not talk about we are not talking about expected value. We're talking about um, the actual amount of time this markup chain uh, ever spends at this state. Let's see why. Let's give a short proof. Okay. I mean, it's uh, very straightforward to prove this using a contradiction. So let's just assume.
the markup chain. So this markup chain spends infinitely many. time periods at this state with a positive probability then what happens is then the expected then the expected value of the time period this markup chain spends at this state will be infinity all right So we've reached a contradiction because for transient states, for transient states, this expected value should be less than infinity for a transient state. All right. This is our claim number one. Oops. So that's our claim number one. Next is our claim number two. That is, uh, if we have a finite state markup chain for a finite state markup chain, It means we have a finitely many states in our state space. And the conclusion is for finite space, finite state space markup chain, not all states can be transient. So there has to be at least one recurrent state. And let, let, let's prove it. Uh, let's prove this using uh, a very simple argument. Uh, I mean, simpler than the textbooks. Let's consider, first we consider a markup chain with, uh, with a binary state space, all right? And let's assume all of them are transient. Then what happens is we let this markup chain run forever. All we have is this n is zero, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. This n can be arbitrarily large, even though at each time step it's a finite number, but we can let this number go to infinity, all right? What happens is we know that in, from previous claim, with probability one, we know that This MC, this markup chain, spends finitely many time periods 
at both states. with probability one. So this is a, uh, this is previous claim. Because we assume the state's being transient. If you guys um, check this, we already have a contradiction. Because uh, our number of time steps or time period goes to infinity, yet we have, however, yet finite uh, time periods at zero and also finite time periods at state one. So we have a contradiction. And then we conclude, okay, at least, so at least one of, uh, of zero one states is recurrent. Or we can have both of them uh, being recurrent. All right, so example. So next claim. This claim is a uh, textbook corollary 4.2. So we're gonna present it without uh, the proof. It says, uh, if state i is recurrent and state j communicates with i then state j is recurrent our next claim which is a remark of a corollary 4.2 is it's very similar to the previous one. It says uh, if a state i, so if state i is not transient, it means we have a positive probability that uh, we may never re-enter uh, state i. And we also know that state j communicates with state i, then state j is transient. This actually implies being transient or recurrent is a class property. All states in the same class must be either transient or recurrent. We cannot have two states in the same class and one state is transient and other is uh, recurrent. This is uh, because uh, class is defined using uh, this communication.